online entertainment, especially streaming movies, has now become more and more popular in your today life. Netflix is one of the world's leading entertainment services. Members can watch as much as they want, anytime, anywhere, on any internet-connected screen. And now, let's take a closer look at a case study from Netflix with our group. In our Netflix journey today, we watch four Netflix original series, respectively, the series of case summary, Netflix key issues, Q&A session with Netflix, and Vietnam's lessons. Now, let's take our first step at the case summary series. So, what is Netflix? Netflix is an American subscription streaming service and production company. It founded on 1997 by two Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, Mark Randall and Reed Hastings. It started as a mail order company renting DVDs and now becomes the largest firm in movie and TV series streaming market. The first step of Netflix penetrating into the market. It began in 1997 as a company that offers mail order renting DVDs of Aura Hollywood. Then in 2000s, Netflix first launched subscription model. In this model, the customers could receive DVDs on a regular basis for a monthly fee. In 2006, Netflix was the largest subscription provider of DVDs. Netflix delivered its billion DVD. And in 2007, streaming service, it began a video-on-demand streaming service of movies, although it still retains a DVD subscription business. And how about Netflix in recent years? In 2015, Netflix became the largest player in the movie and TV series streaming market. The revenue of Netflix in 2015 was $6.7 billion, at 20% from 2014. Netflix gained $122 million, less than half the previous year, and the profit margin of Netflix less than 2% in 2015. From 2016, Netflix streaming service was available in more than 190 countries and territories. Its streaming services became the biggest revenue generator, and Netflix has 83 million worldwide subscribers and present in all foreign markets, except for China. The market penetration is too high, and Netflix has a lot of rivals. For example, Apple, the largest online media store, HBO, the oldest and most successful paid television service, Amazon, streaming service, the largest database of subscribers, and Google, the long-term content creator. You can see on the pie charts that the percent of streaming hour to the usage of TV and the video streaming distribution presented by the brand. In 2020, Netflix has gained 61 million domestic Netflix subscribers and 106.1 million international users. And you can see that Netflix accounts for approximately 90% of digital movie streaming. So, what are Netflix features? It is the largest database on consumer video preferences. Netflix has built a recommendation system that encourages consumers to see more movies. As much a technology company as a content company, self develop its video encoding system and distribute videos over 1,000 servers in the US located close to its customer to ensure high speed and quality delivery. Strong Nick followings and built a new model of a binge watching where consumers could watch all the episodes of a series in several systems. And now we have a question for you Have you ever watched a Netflix original TV series? And it was also the biggest feature of Netflix, the content creation business. It developed Netflix original TV series, only published on Netflix, like Squid Game, Emily in Paris, and many, many popular TV series. The last feature is premium channel distributors. Users have to pay money for using the service. And now, turning to the Netflix key issue series. Despite its global presence and the remarkable increase in Netflix shares by over 8,000% since it first went public in 2002, Netflix has hit a rough spot in 2016. 
with the stock market punishing the company for failing to achieve expected subscriber growth targets in the United States amid concerns about growing competition in the streaming marketplace. Many subscribers dropped the service in 2016 because Netflix raised its prices and Amazon grew its own video streaming service. These have led to the profit margin less than 2% of Netflix. Therefore, in the revolution of Netflix, it has to deal with many challenges to reach its position today. Now, we turn to the Q&A session. So, the first question is, what are three key challenges of Netflix? The first challenge is that the costs of content are very high, both purchase older series as well as new content, which is far more risky. Now, the owners of older cable TV series and Hollywood movies charge Netflix for the privilege of distributing their content as much as they do established cable TV networks. Netflix is mostly a database and delivery platform, and the company is looking for popular TV series with a built-in or potential audience. But series just a euro are very expensive or non-existent. So Netflix is paying hundreds of millions of dollars to Disney, Paramount, Lionsgate, or MGM to license hit shows and movies. And as a result, Netflix has taken the more risky option of developing its own original series. And this is also very expensive as well. A second challenge Netflix face is the risk of creating new content. When it comes to the new TV series, Netflix has tried to use the algorithm to predict what new series that its customers might be interested in with the mixed results. Netflix has produced some real winners according to the critics and also some losers as well. A third challenge is that Netflix does not have unique technology and price pressure. Streaming technology is widespread and well understood. The success of Netflix streaming model has attracted Amazon, Google, and content producers like Hulu and HBO to the fray. Some of these firms are tech firms with a large internet audience, strong brand names, and a good understanding of what their millions of ally customers want. Ultimately, it cannot compete with Google, Yahoo, or the content producers like CBS, HBO Now, which have already started their streaming services. Netflix can be copied by its competitors and its profitability reduced to less than shareholders can tolerate. What are the key elements of Netflix strategy today? The first one is that Netflix has to strike good deals with Comcast and other ISPs to develop high-speed internet service to its customers in order to stay on top of the game. It has created its own proprietary video incurring system and distributes its content across more than 100 servers around the United States, many of which are local to its users. Thirdly, Netflix needs to keep expanding their service in the new countries where there are opportunities for growth and increased profits. Netflix gains new friends in Hollywood and New York who are looking for ways to deliver their shows to a new online, mobile, and social world, thanks to the big national audience of streamers. Fourthly, Netflix's new strategy was to start creating a system that would allow users to view content to a variety of mediums. Users can continue to use standard mail service videos. Lastly, Netflix is trying to expand their offerings of high-quality TV series to catch new customers. Netflix is highly that the customer chooses what they want to watch for Netflix does not require any setup. has a number of implications for television systems that would be used to access these networks. 
Netflix success in discovering and producing original content, as well as having access to a different distribution medium, the internet, than Comcast and Time Warner, has proven to be a serious so challenge to traditional to cable question. companies. Why is Netflix in competition with Apple, Amazon, and Google? And what trends do Netflix bring to the market? of $30 to $40 is necessary to have a complete deal while Netflix is only receiving a quarter of that per subscriber. Amazon has monthly subscription and also creates an app, therefore allowing customers to have more availability to deserve it. Netflix also have an app, but these other competitors have been in this business much longer and have the finance to keep up with technology and new software and enhance their service every year. Google has used every day to short information, pictures, and mostly video is free, not subscription, therefore making it extremely powerful and free to Netflix. There are six trends that Netflix could bring to the market. The first one is its business model is flexible. The second trend is that Netflix has significant brand equity. platform to receive widespread acclaim and acceptance for its time business model. Its continued investment into premium content acquisition and development, as well as an emphasis on streamless user experience, has been continuously refined and improved over the past few years. Despite increased competition, it has remained one of the most popular streaming services around. It has revenue of almost $25 billion and Million in profit according to BBC. The third one, Netflix has a large and growing global customer base. Next, it has critical acclaimed content and an extensive library. Five, on Netflix is bright reasonably. And the last one, Netflix does not interrupt viewers with commercials. In conclusion, from the case study Netflix, how does the movie end? We can learn some informative lessons that can be useful for Vietnamese business. The first one is be creative and flexible but stay true to your goal. The second lesson is keeping up to the new technology. And the last lesson is collecting more database to create right strategy to the right customer. All of these lessons will conclude from the develop process of Netflix, a case study of non-stop innovative and customer-centric business.